What is up, my breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. We are here. The sun blinded me. We're at the Dollar Tree. And Marie, mm -hmm. you know what that means, right? Dollar packs. No. No? I mean, it does mean Dollar Tree pack. The king has returned to the Dollar Tree to claim his Pokemon card and pull his ultra rares and his secret rares and most importantly, his hyper rares. Now you must hand the king his royal mask. Ah, yes. Thank you very much. Now the king and Marie will now waltz into the Dollar Tree to find some Pokemon cards. So basically what we're trying to do today is we're gonna travel to a bunch of different dollar stores. Well, not a bunch, maybe about two or three. We're gonna buy all the Dollar Tree packs that we can find and then try to beat the value of all the booster packs. So if we buy $20 worth of booster packs, we have to pull rares worth more then $20. I think I'm so excited I'm spitting everywhere. But sometimes the king does that. Anyways, let's try to beat the value. Let's head inside. Let's do it. the first dollar store we actually got three boxes worth right here we still got to go to some more dollar stores i think there's one or two more in the area and then we'll uh, we'll head home and open all these up okay so unfortunately no luck at that dollar tree Breaking family, we are back here inside of the Pokemon studio about to open up all of these Dollar Tree Pokemon packs. I legit bought every single pack that was in the store. We're gonna try our luck with every single one of them. There is a total of 102 Dollar Tree Pokemon packs. I say we go ahead and get started, but first, if you did not see yesterday's video, the Pokemon trash can has officially returned. I'm gonna set it right back here. And if you don't know what that is, we anytime we basically have to throw an energy or a code card, we try to make it land in the trash can back there. And at the very end of the video, we see how many actually made it into the trash can. So let's go ahead and dump all of these out. All right, there we go. Okay, woo. Now this box right here, we actually found a last. Um, we were ringing up these two right here and there was only like 30 some or 20 some packs uh, all together in those. And then the nice lady at the register was like, hey, did you see there's actually some more over there if you wanna go ahead and get the rest of them? We were like, yes, yes, yes. We've been having trouble finding Dollar Tree packs and as the king of the <laughs> I have a hard time keeping a straight face when I do that. As the king of the dollar store, I shouldn't have a hard time finding the dollar packs, but I do. And so we had to, uh, we had to, we had to buy some. We had to buy some. So we got 102 right here. Now what we are trying to do is pull a value of greater than $100. So we're trying to see if we can essentially beat the cost of $100 today. Now I am gonna put the values up of any ultra rares that we pull. And if we find any, um, if we find any big value rares, I will put that on the screen as well. But we're only gonna count the rares inside of today's Pokemon opening. Now if we pull a rare that's like 20 some cents, I'm not gonna put that on the screen, but I will include that in the grand total overall. So make sure you watch the entire video to see if we got a value of more than $100, but we're also trying to pull some $1 Pokemon Ultra Rare cards. We'll see if that happens at all in today's video. 
Um, now, if you do not know, dollar store packs from the Dollar Tree and Dollar General are 100% real Pokemon cards. They are not fake, they are real Pokemon cards. You can pull anything from the set. You can pull the most rare, the most valuable Pokemon card from a Dollar Tree pack for only one dollar energy. I'll put that right back there, ever so gentle, in my filing cabinet. Now, if you do pull anything, uh, as far as a rare or reverse holo uh, or an ultra rare, this is going to be the middle card. So that's the card trick that you see me doing and a scyther, but you're not guaranteed a rare. You're not guaranteed a reverse holo. You do not get a code card. But like I said, you can pull the most rare, most valuable Pokemon card from the set. They've been doing a dollar store packs since uh, XY base set is how long they've been doing them. So, uh, they've been going on for, for quite a few years already. We have Applin Energy and a Reverse Hollow Toxtricity. Now, hopefully, nobody weighed these Dollar Tree packs. Unfortunately, that has happened to me before where I've bought, in, uh, I've bought in a lot and then gotten legit, like, no Reverse Hollows uh, or any, any rares or anything like that. But it's just, sometimes, it's kind of just the luck of the draw, too. All right. Oh, okay. wait, wait a minute. What set was that? Because they stopped doing that at Sword and Sh Oh, that was Team Up. Okay, okay. I did not know there was a Team Up in here. Let's see what we got here. We have a Zora, Omni, and a Celebi and Venusaur from our Team Up pack that was just hiding in here. I did not know we had a Team Up pack. Celebi and Venusaur, ultra rare. So there we go. Very first ultra rare, very first $1 Ultra rare Pokemon card. Whoop! There we go. Right up there in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon card section. They stopped doing that little last card in there that was basically talking about the Pokemon TCG and Pokemon TV. They stopped doing that uh, at the Sword and Shield base set. So that's why I was kind of confused when I saw that. And a Meditite. Now, if you did not see yesterday's video, make sure you go and watch it because it was a new episode of wasting money on Pokemon cards, where we buy only third-party Pokemon cards uh, packaged by not the Pokemon company. Uh, you know, those like 20 cards in one foil, those uh, mystery cubes, all of that stuff. We do that every single Friday currently, and uh, we're trying, we're on a mission, trying to pull something amazing from those products, and uh, whew, that's rough. That is rough. Energy and a grubbin. And I also mentioned this in yesterday's video. Hidden Pokemon cards will be making a return. It was supposed to return in March, but obviously we weren't able to do that. So hopefully that will be very, very soon. A lot sooner than you think. So make sure you have your notifications turned on so you do not miss the newest episode of Hidden Pokemon Cards. All right, here we go. There is an entire playlist of all 70 episodes of Hidden Pokemon Cards if you want to go back and watch that. I believe there's also a link down in the video description to it. Which, by the way, speaking of links down in the video description, if you do not know, both myself and Mr. Jordan Fringe host a weekly uh, Pokemon news and Pokemon collecting podcast on iTunes and Spotify. Well, we have recently started a shadowless YouTube channel as well, Applin Reverse Hollow. Uh, so if, if you want to go subscribe to it, which I highly encourage you do, uh, because you can get all your latest Pokemon news and discussions about Pokemon collecting. Uh, even we, we even talk about investment things as well. Not just Pokemon cards, but anything, anything Pokemon we talk about on that channel. Um, and we take out clips from the podcast, but there's also exclusive content on that YouTube channel as well that you will not hear on the podcast. So please, please, Breaking Family, go subscribe to the Shadowless channel. There'll be a link down in the video description down below. Um, this is a passion project for both myself and Jordan Fringe. Uh, the Shadowless, the Shadowless fans are excited about it, and I hope you are as well. Energy! I'll put that right back there. Scyther! So we've only gotten one Ultra Rare so far. Like I said, it's kind of the luck of the draw sometimes. Uh, you can get a bunch of Ultra Rares and then sometimes no Ultra Rares. We've only gotten one so far. Um, none in these Rebel Clash booster packs. So I wonder if somebody weighed these. Galarian Mr. Mime. And if they did, that's going to be very hard for me to uh, beat the value of $100, right? 
we have ourselves a Lullaby Energy and a Galarian Corsola. What do you think? What do you think? You think we're going to pull another Ultra Rare? Or do you think that Celebi and Venusaur is it? Training Core and a Snorlax. That Snorlax is actually a rare. I'm going to put it over there. Now, uh, I probably made the mistake. I went to the same Dollar Tree um, that I did last time where I believe somebody was weighing packs. So I made that mistake of going back, but it's the closest one. So I really wanted to try it again. And of course we did try that other, other Dollar Tree and they did not have any. We tried the Dollar General. They didn't have any as well. So this was kind of our only option. So we're trying Breaking Family. We're staying positive. We're going to make it happen. Luxio and a Wingle, which is kind of a bird. And what do birds got to do? Birds! Gotta fly. Fly away, bird. Fly away. Going into the next one, we have Scyther and Energy. Whoa. I think that hit the light up there. Hopefully you all are having a great day. I appreciate you taking the time out to join me. There's plenty of channels. Plenty of channels. Not even just Pokemon channels. Plenty of channels. Energy that you could have watched today. And you chose... Fly away, bird, and you chose to watch mine, and I truly, truly appreciate it, and thank you uh, so much for your support. We have a Dreepy and a Metacham Reverse Hollow. wonder if we should try some Sword and Shield and then come back to Rebel Clash. Might be an option. Magikarp, which I think the Pikachu is throwing up, not throwing up, but throwing up the Magikarp into the air. And another Metatite. Yeah, let's go ahead and try Sword and Shield. Yes, I think they're in here. All right, we got some Sword and Shield base set. And then, of course, more Rebel Clash over there. Darkness Ablaze, still a bit uh, a bit away for its release. August 14th is when Darkness Ablaze gets released. Of course, Charizard V, Charizard V Max is in that set. We will be searching for it just like everybody else on the entire planet. Uh, it's not like it's an original thing to do, but we all love Charizard, so we have to search for it. Uh, it's kind of the Charizard rule. Uh, but yeah, that set will get released on August 14th, uh, but you can buy Build in Battle boxes on August 1st, um, at participating retailers. And of course, we will be opening up Darkness Ablaze early, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications. We have a Misharp and a Stone Jorner Reverse Hollow. Well, I guess that one team up pack was looking really good, and I'm glad that we pulled, uh, God that we actually got it and pulled something from it. Energy and a Golding. We got some Kanto vibes coming in strong with that booster pack. Roselia, Joltik, and a Pokemon Catcher. I need to catch me an Ultra Rare. That's what I need to catch me. We have a Snom. There we go. Full art. Stone Jorner V Max. There we go. Another ultra rare pull. Take a look at that beautiful artwork on it there. Whoo! I'm feeling better, Breaking Family. I'm feeling a lot better. Let me go ahead and sleeve that up. Whoop! Right up there in the VIP section. The very important Pokemon card section. Going into the next Sword and Shield. We have ourselves a energy. Bellatoy, are you practicing your energy throws at home? Because you should be. You never know when a competition is going to come up and they say, hey, how far can you throw a Pokemon energy card? And you're like, hey, I've been watching Real Breaking 8 for a long time. I've been practicing. I got this. I got this. Reverse hello, Pokemon Center lady. You never know when it can come handy. I don't know where that competition would take place, but... You never know, right? Anything's possible, right? Sobble, energy, and a blip bug. We have a feral seed, Krabby, that does 120 damage. Where in the world did this Krabby come from? 120 damage, are you kidding me? And our last sword and shield base set, and then everything else should be Rebel Clash. Reverse Hollow Nine Tails and a Metal Saucer. I don't think it's the same kind of saucer that you put your tea and coffee on, but it could be. I don't know. Nose Pass, Wingle, Fly Away Bird, Fly Away, and an Energy. I'll put that right over there. I'm going to have a lot of trash to pick up, and um, I don't want to pick it up. So if somebody wants to uh, pick that trash up, I, I would prefer not to do it. But 
Responsibilities, I have to do it. No, it's my responsibility, not yours. I'll take care of it. We have a Stuffle, Lotad, and a Sonia. And I wanna say, and I, I truly mean this, I wanna say thank you for accepting me for who I am. And that is something I truly appreciate about the Breaking Family. Not only do you accept me for who I am, but you accept everybody else for who they are in this channel uh, or in this community. And nobody is judged. Everybody is welcome here. That's what I love about the Breaking Family. We love everybody and everybody is important. Um, so if you are new here, this is your first time watching the channel, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to check out this channel and thank you for being you. Don't try to be like anybody else. You know me. I don't try to be like anybody else. I'm, I'm just myself here on this channel, okay? I don't do what's popular. Um, I could. I could, but I don't want to because I want to do videos that I enjoy that I think are fun and that are that are entertaining and just having a good time. And I know, I know some of those videos might seem weird. They might seem unusual, but I know at the end of the day, I'm being myself and that that's what's important. So you should always be yourself. Palpatone, just a little talk for you all. Just a little talk. Be yourself. Applin, and okay. Ultra Rare, Rebel Clash, Ultra Rare. Eventually, maybe, no. I'm starting to think. That energy came right back at me. I'm starting to think that somebody went through and weighed these Rebel Clash booster packs. What do you think? What do you think, Breaking Family? And a Palosan, we'll put that right there. We've actually not even pulled a Hollow Rare. You think somebody weigh these? Let me know in the comment section down below. How has your luck been? Flyway Bird, how has your luck been with Dollar Tree packs uh, so far? Good? Bad? I'd love to know your feedback. I try to reply to as many comments as possible. Um, I at least heart them to let you know that I've seen them if I'm not able to reply at the moment. But anybody that knows has been here on this channel a long time, I reply to a lot of comments and a lot of direct messages on my social media. All my social media is down in the video description, but I just love interacting and talking with you all and talking Pokemon and enjoying Pokemon together. Clefairy and a Zamazenta. Hey, I'll take that. Reverse hello Zamazenta any day of the week for Zamazenta. I prefer Zamazenta out of Zacian and Zamazenta. Hey, Grim Snarl, welcome to the party. Our first holo rare. We were just talking about not having any holo rares. Wonder what our grand total is going to be. I probably should ask you all this very important question. Uh, are you excited for Pokemon Snap 2? New Pokemon Snap, that was, that was unexpected. I mean, I know every single time there is Pokemon Goes, we have a huge announcement and everybody's like, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Snap, and it's never Pokemon Snap. This time it actually was. Uh, so that was absolutely crazy. Energy, Rillaboom V, I'm starting to feel even better now. Another ultra rare and a good one at that breaking family. Rillaboom, Grookey being my favorite starter out of the new three from Sword and Shield. Whoop, there we go. VIP section, okay, okay. Things are starting to, uh, the wheels, the wheels are starting to be in motion for these ultra rare pulls, these $1 ultra rare Pokemon cards. Magmar, Galarian Yamask, and an energy. If you didn't see Thursday's video, I actually, um, I went through the entire new Pokemon Snap trailer and tried to spot every single Pokemon that was in it. Uh, and I encourage you to go watch that video uh, and see if I missed any. Uh, a lot of them were hiding that you might have not seen in the trailer. So um, go go and watch that video. It's definitely it's definitely a very interesting video. You know, I know I usually do uh, Pokemon openings of products, but that one was a little bit different. You know, sometimes I like to do different things. I'm not afraid to. Unpheasant, not so pleasant. Okay. I'm gonna have to take a water break here in just a second. Temple and an energy. Oh, speaking of speaking of a water break, energy. <sighs> All right, we are hydrated. Got some H two O in the system. Time for some more ultra rare pulls. Here we go. Impenimp and energy. I'll put that right over there. All right. Okay. If we could pull that shiny frost moth or that shiny. Galarian Berserker from a Dollar Tree pack. I would absolutely flip over that. 
Mr. Mime's not rare, is it? That's not a rare. No, that's not. I don't know why I thought it was a rare. I've actually not even pulled the shiny Frost Moth or the shiny Galarian Berserker gold cards. We're trying to pull one of every single card. I can't trade for any. I can't uh, buy them as singles off of eBay. I have to pull every single card. And that's what that binder is right back there. That's our Rebel Clash Pokemon card binder. And I periodically do updates of it here on the channel. Try to take you on the journey. Trying to figure out how many packs does it actually take to pull every single card. The answer is a lot. <laughs> Bronzor, Energy, and a Toxel. Only three ultra rares so far, but hey, that is better than none. You gotta look at the positives. Caterpie with those sad, sad Caterpie eyes. Cursed! Ah! It's cursed. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I had to yell, but that's just who I am. Nine tails, about our millionth nine tails that we got. Going into the next pack. Coughing, Bronzor, and a Carcoal. Some people have actually told me that they pulled Ultra Rares as the last card in the booster pack and not the middle. Obama Snow and another Carcoal. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think we're over 100. I don't feel like we are. Provo Pass and a Palpitoad. I'll set that right there. I don't, honestly don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've started to mix everything up. Going into the next one. Don't forget, over 100 Dollar Tree Pokemon packs in today's Pokemon card opening. I'm glad all of you are here to join me. Garbodor Energy. And if you're having a bad day, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. We all have bad days. Uh, and it's only human. It's only human to have a bad day, right? But I want to give you some information. And this is important to remember. And this is serious. That even though today is a bad day, that doesn't mean tomorrow is going to be a bad day. So, what you can do is you can say, hey, today is a bad day, okay? It's just a bad day. It's just one of those days. And then you can wake up tomorrow, eat breakfast, brush your teeth, take a shower, do all that important stuff. That stuff really, really does help. Uh, I'm not kidding when I say that. Uh, having a nice routine really helps. A lot of you know that... Uh, I, uh, I have a lot of anxiety. I suffer from a lot of anxiety. And I'm very open about that here on the channel. Um, and having routine definitely helps me a lot. Um, but then take the next day and say, today is just going to be a little bit better than the, the previous day. And then the next day, it's going to be a little bit better than the previous day. And you keep doing that every day. And it helps out. At least it helps me out. And I want to share that with you. But... Just because today is a bad day doesn't mean tomorrow is going to be a bad day. And it will get better. It will. I promise you that. Dreepy, Bronzong, and you have the entire Breaking family here. Someone, uh, someone or people. Hey, there we go. Cinderus V Full Art. That is a beautiful, beautiful card, Breaking family. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful full art Pokemon card. I absolutely love that. I've not pulled a full art Cinderus V yet, so I'm really, really enjoying this card. Wow, okay. We got we got some good pulls. We got some good pulls. We still have plenty of booster packs left. All right. All right, this is good. This is good. But uh, the entire Breaking family is here for you. Um... There's people that are always, always, always willing to talk, just lend an ear, uh, give advice, try to help out any way they can. That's what I love about the Breaking Family is that this is a community of just positivity and just having a good time and not judging anybody. So this is a judgment-free zone, so everybody's welcome here. Scyther and an Apple Sun and an Energy. Whoa. Put that right back there. Okay. We have a Bronzor and the man, Dan. Dan the man. Okay, this is not our last Rebel Clash booster pack. We still have a few more. Magmar, Electabuzz, and not an Ultra Rare. Okay, these right here are our last booster packs. They are Rebel Clash. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, there's some Sword and Shield in there. Let's go ahead and do that Sword and Shield. Maybe 
that shiny frost moth, that gold shiny frost moth. Maybe it's the last booster pack that we open up today. How crazy, how crazy would that be? All right, we have a blip bug and a sandaconda. That sand, oh wait, that sandaconda is a rare, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll put that right over there where it should go, along with that nine tails. I'm gonna have to count up all those nine tails and see, uh, see how many we actually pulled. Okay, we have a reverse hello Litwick. Such a lit card, right? I'm sorry, I had to do it. I know it's one of those corny dad jokes, but I had to do it. I had to. Galarian, Mr. Mime, and a beware. Beware the good pulls. Ah, we have a Toxel Litwick Energy. Don't forget, we do have to check the Pokemon trash can back there, see if anything landed inside of it. We have another Toxel. Energy and an Aracuda. <laughs> For some reason, this always reminds me of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Um, the blue Barracudas, remember the? Ah, I always wanted to be on Legends of the Hidden Temple so bad. Ah, still to this day, I want to be on Legends of the Hidden Temple and Double Dare. Oh, classic shows. Always wanted to be on those. Never, never got to. It's okay. It's okay. We have a Pinnacle Bronzong, and not an ultra rare. Four booster packs left. Let's make it happen, Breaking Family. Hit the like button. Give us some good luck in these last few booster packs. Hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Become part of the Breaking Family. We are close to half a million subscribers. I have something huge in store for you all for half a million. Here we go. We have an Applin and... It's a rare, it's a rare, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, second to last one. I think I think we can do it. I think we can get a, a shiny in that last booster pack. Snover, here we go. And then we'll check the trash can. All right. Actually, I wanna put that right down there. We have a coughing and a Milo. Let's check the trash can. Anything inside? Nope. And the last card is going to a Bronzor. Ah, you ruined the party, Bronzor. So unfortunately, we only got a grand total of $19.75, but that's okay because it's all about having fun and that's exactly exactly what we did in today's video. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video. I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.